ladies, this is Erica Johnston and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time visiting me, I welcome you. We're sitting in my backyard today. I am going to be probably melted by the time this video is finished. <laughs> in today's video, we're going to be talking about 10 different ways that you can go grey. Alright, so a year ago I created this video, Eight Ways to Go Grey. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about different ways that you can transition to silver hair and maybe make it a little bit easier on yourself. And I never expected ever, ever that that video would be such a success. I've had lots of great comments, but I've had a lot of people say to me, oh, I wish that you included pictures or images with the video. So that's what I'm going to do today. All right. So the first way that you can go gray is by actually dyeing your hair gray. And so it's funny because a lot of you over the past year have said to me, well, why didn't you do that in the beginning? And I don't know, maybe it's just, I, I didn't think that that was an option. I don't know. And I, I find now two and a half years later, it seems like there is an abundance of hair dyes out there of gray hair dyes or silver hair dyes. So maybe it just wasn't really on my radar then. I don't know, but I think maybe that is an option, something that you can do. Just remember that if your hair is pretty dark right now, like dyed pretty dark, you probably will have to do some, a little bit of bleaching to lighten it first before you do that. So it might be best to talk to your hairstylist and get it done professionally. That's just my opinion. But if you have done and used a box dye and you loved it, please let me know in the comment section below what you used, okay? So yeah, so that's number one, dye your hair gray. All right, so number two, this was a suggestion by my viewers and a lot of you have said, why didn't you mention wigs? And that's because I actually didn't think of wigs at all, like ever. And I guess because the wigs that I have in my house are for dress up and they are like very, very cheap, crappy wigs. So I sort of didn't realize like how many amazing wigs are out there on the market. There is a woman on YouTube, her name is Elizabeth Alfano, and she created a, a video exactly on that, on her gray hair journey. And she was wearing a wig, which she termed the squirrel. And she, I guess she wore that throughout her transition. So she hid it and then she revealed it to the world, like her it. She revealed her silver hair to the world. So. Yeah, so wigs are definitely an option if you're just feeling, especially if you're working in like a corporate, the corporate office, maybe you feel, you know, you're just not feeling yourself, maybe that might be, be the way to go and help you out along the way. So yeah, so wigs are number two. All right, so number three is one way that I used for the first three months of my transition and I highly recommend it. So. Especially if you're not, you're kind of on the fence and you're not sure, like, do I want to, do I not want to? And that's by using L'Oreal Root Spray or any, any cover up that you enjoy. Like maybe you've got a mascara one that you like, I don't know, but uh, I, I prefer L'Oreal Root Spray. It's amazing. And you know, because before sometimes I would, I'd be like, I'm going to grow out my hair and then I would last a month and dye it. But this way, if I keep spraying it, spraying it, spraying it, you get more growth and then you're more likely to continue the journey. I'll so, L'Oreal Root Spray, number three. I'll do this one. Okay. okay. Uh, so, so, number four. Number four is uh, hats and scarves. You can, like, uh, to cover up your, uh, um, the, like, like the one line, if, there's, if you still have one line of gray hair, mm -hmm. you can cover up with that, like, a hat or, like, uh, put a scarf maybe around I your... probably should have a hat on right now myself. <laughs> oh. Just saying, like, it's really hot out. <laughs> Or put like a scarf around your head or something yeah. like that to yeah. wear hat also, and that is uh, hats and scarves. Hats and scarves. Everett Johnson. By Everett Johnson, hats and scarves. <laughs> yeah, so that's definitely uh, uh, one way that you can hide things a little bit yes. longer. Okay, so number five is strategic hair dye placement, and a woman named Susan Barnes. Yeah, Susan Barnes. She has a video out there on how to do this, and so. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna have her here or here. I don't know, but I'm gonna have this video playing while I'm speaking. And essentially, you know, she's parted her hair here and dyed part of it. I don't know because I'll be showing you the video. Just watch it while I'm talking. 
but she has done strategic, so she grows out one portion at a time. And a uh, very cool idea, actually, especially if you're wanting to have things look a little neater and tidier rather than have a demarcation line. Nice, oh, nice you, idea. You so, this one out. Okay, so she yeah, is. yeah. So she's her video is how to grow out gray hair secretly. I like that. It's like, haha, I've got something hiding underneath, and you don't know about it. Oh, yeah. Unless the wind blows, because then you're gonna see it. <laughs> Okay, Sing. this is a pond that I'm on, this is oh, yeah. What is uh, silver streaks? Oh, those are like two streaks that go down here, like this. All right, so the sixth way that you can grow out your gray is by doing things slow. So start off, and this was suggested to me many times, like just get a couple streaks, like, you know, just let them go. And for me, I said this in my last video, I'm go big or go home. So. No, I'm like, I gotta do it all at once. I can't just do, you know, a strand here and there. It doesn't work for me. So, but it might for you and it might be, you know, even a few streaks, that might be something that you wanna do and to see how, if you like it. So Stacy London is a, a good example of this. And I can't really think of anybody else. No, oh, it's so cute. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. So number seven is highlights and lowlights. So you can get one, you can get the other, whatever works for you, a combination of both. I will be putting some pictures somewhere here showing you what I'm talking about. And some of you, if you're pure white, this may not pertain, or maybe you wanna get the highlights put in and then you know it just kind of breaks up that demarcation line, right? But one thing that is really cool is that if you've got salt and pepper, is you get some of the um, the low lights put in to match the pepper, okay? So that just really jazzes things up. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, number eight, cold turkey. Cold turkey. So cold turkey is when you just, just stop. You, stop. you just stop. Basically, you, there's someone who on Instagram, their name is Silver Conversion, mm -hmm. and yeah, you should go check them out. There will be a link in the description down below uh, for them. Yeah. And they basically just, sh uh, like, they used to be, like, they used to have black hair. Like, just, <laughs> they had total black hair. She. She. <laughs> she had black hair. She had black hair, and um, then she just turned to gray. Just, just turned to gray. All right, so number nine. A pixie cut. A pixie cut. So this is a great way to transition quickly. <laughs> Just cut your hair off. That's it. So done. No. <laughs> you can you can get a pixie cut. There's actually one of my YouTube viewers, and her name is Jay Juniper, and she's rocking a pixie cut and she loves it and she feels sexy that might be an option for you as well if you just wanted to have the fastest transition ever cut it nice and short pixie cut so we took it inside things were getting a little warm out there a little toasty a little sweaty but we have one last and final way that you can transition and this is the coup de gras this is this is it this is we think we we think all of you should do this okay <laughs> All right, so that's shaving your head. And I, in my last video, that was my first example that I put out there, the most extreme example. And a few of you were like, oh, you know, I would never do that. But I've actually had viewers who've sent me messages and they've said, yeah, I actually shaved my head and it was a huge relief. I got it done one time and then they just grow out their natural roots. So it's definitely an option. There's a woman, her channel is called Naturally Graceful and she has done this so check it out so i look in the mirror and i see me i see that my hair is gone i see that i've made this change but i still see me like and subscribe. all right yeah bye. thank you so much and have thank a wonderful so week much. okay bye 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 oh it's it's hot it is hot sitting here now that's it was, hot. that's hot wait where's lenny lenny Maybe he's too hot. Cut it nice and short. Pixie cut. Yeah. yeah.
Okay. What the heck is cold turkey? It just means you stop, like, cold turkey. What does that mean? Just stop? Stop. stop. That's it? You just stop. Stop dying hair? Yeah. Okay. Like, if somebody quits smoking cold turkey, it means, like, they just... Like, why does... Why do okay, they call it cold it. turkey, though? I don't, I don't know. Just, okay, what does I'll, that mean? I'll do it.